Swing steps. So this swing is steps. Okay, so, yeah. so we've done a lot of work around really focusing in on um, the, the, the agility and the responsiveness in the players. And this is just one example of many. So you see Neymar here, the defender. He's just keeping, uh, keeping with Bale. Uh, Bale. And you can see just quickly and agile keeps changing in these swing steps to, to stay with Bale. And as yeah. we know, last year at times, it was very difficult to stay with Bale as a defender. If we go into the next uh, sequence here, we've obviously done a lot of work around the player movement itself and responsiveness, but we've also done a lot of work around uh, the AI of the, uh, the team themselves, the defensive uh, playing as a unit. So you can see there that the, uh, the possession was changed. There was a change in possession. What I want you to look at is the bottom of the screen. Look at the left back. Yeah. Uh, sorry, the right back. Uh, and he covers instantly, gets back in the play, uh, and is able to cover that you know, nice uh, through ball. Is, is, this, is this the AI or is this... Uh this is the AI actually tracking back for you, getting players back into position. Here's another example here. Previously in the game, we'd focus too much on, on man marking. Players would focus completely on man marking. If you look at the top of the screen here, you can see Rakitic. He's man marking... Um, uh, I think it's Ronaldo at the top there. Yeah, yeah that's Ronaldo. Benzema yeah. gets the ball, and then you can see Bale makes a great run. So he moves away from Ronaldo because he's covered by PK, uh, and he's able to actually cover that space. So what we're seeing is playing, moving away from man marking to actually cover dangerous space. Really yeah. important, and it's sort of transforming the feel of the game. Um, another thing we just want to show here, I'll come in a little bit closer, is some work we've done around animations and actually some new context and the way that we're doing and defending. So you mentioned yeah, this, this to me this earlier. Yeah, I know you've played really, this. Yeah, I'm really so happy about this. Focus on Marcello here. We've completely redone all of the slide tackle animations. As he come in, uh, Messi recognizes that he's coming. Marcello actually commits to slide tackle. Uh, Messi then dinks over him. He's never going to reach it. You can now press the slide tackle button again, pop up. Wow. And you're back in the play, and yeah. he uses body position to actually win back the ball. Yeah, this is totally new. I really like this. I actually played the game yesterday. Okay, actually gets tight, uh, and he sees the opportunity to come in and intercept. Yeah. So we're getting these really nice two-player interactions, and he steps in to challenge the ball. Here's uh, another example of it here. The ball comes in, and uh, it's Rakitic again here, actually. He comes in and sees that he can get to the ball and actually slides to, wow, to do yeah. that. Cool. This is transforming the feeling of the game. It's meaning that you can't bypass the, the midfield anymore. You have to build up play through the midfield. Think about different ways to attack. Um, it's creating much more variation, meaning that you can look and play with different teams yeah. um, you know, within the game. But I talked about balance right off the top, and this is, this is a way that you can counter the interceptions. You can now do a, 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 a quick pass, a hard pass, Purpose anywhere on pass, the pitch. Right? Yeah, it's right bumper and pass, or R1 and pass. Yeah. And you can see here, this is a much quicker pass. Neymar here hasn't got a chance. You can see that Mastrano is trying to do what PK did, but because the ball's played more quickly, he yeah. doesn't, he doesn't have that opportunity. Does this also mean it's hard to, uh, to control the ball? You think about the clutch in a car. When, you're, when the clutch is off, you can dribble normally, a dribble touches. If you engage the clutch, the engine is not engaged anymore, so you can move yeah. around the ball without touching it. So here's a great example of it here. Messi just faces up Ronaldo. Um, he goes, he, we're holding down the left bumper here. He goes one way <laughs> to faint, yeah, cool. comes back the other way, and then explodes out. Yeah. So it's about explosive movement out uh, and goes around Marcello. Uh, if you is it a, with a bumper or a trigger? It's a uh, left bumper. Okay. Yeah. So if you release it, it's explosive. Exactly. You move out. Away. Exactly. So this is a great way to so uh, just humiliate your opponent. Yeah. And this is a way of using it at speed. So here we're using sprint with Ronaldo. And here's, again, it's just a little body feint here. He does it right there. That's enough to sell PK, who slides in, and then he rides the challenge. So it could have gotten up, though. Yeah. <laughs> leads in different situations. Yeah. And uh, it's, again, it's another little tool that you can use to, to, to win the ball. Yeah. So now, if this is a double tap cross. Uh, I'm actually leading the player a little bit more. We're getting players to, to, to run onto the ball. In this case, it's Benzema. You can see the ball is in behind the defenders. And he's trying to get in yeah. on the ball. Oh, great. What this means, though, is there's more error on crosses. It means that you, if you don't time it, they'll probably miss. They'll just miss the yeah. attacker. So there's more skill involved. It also means there's a better thing if you can get space out wide. You can get a more accurate cross in. Connect. All right. uh, we, we're actually using a, a 3D model of the foot. And in this case, it's a very square shot. He hits it square, laces shot, and you can see this is a more straight driven shot. We're getting more driven um, trajectories into the, into the game. Feel that, they, that we wanted shooting to be a, feel a little bit more rewarding. So this is more of a driven straight shot. Okay. If I show you another example here, 
This is Cruz. He comes around and, and he gets his foot around the ball a little bit more. And this is actually a curling shot. It feels a bit more finesse. This is, this is a actually finesse shot? no. This is a no? this is a, a normal laces shot again, but it's a sort of in swinging shot, which is nice. And then the opposite here, Benzema cuts across the ball, and um, it spins away. So really trying to, you know, we've got great ball physics. If we can, you know, more realistically look at how the foot connects to the ball, we can get much more emergent behavior game as well. We can do tall, skinny players. Peter Crouch, Akifemwa, obviously he's a foot legend. We can do those kind of body types now in a more authentic way. We did uh, facial scanning, lots of new animations. We also did hair simulation. So we wanted to bring all these elements in when we, bring women, when we brought women to our game and we've been able to do that. So um, uh, are we, there's like 12 the teams right now. 12 international 12. teams, so absolutely. are there uh, coming more international teams? Are there going to be club teams? Well, well, we've started with 12 and obviously we're very excited to do that. We'll see how, how people react and, and we'll look and, and see what we want to do in the future. But right now it's 12 international teams. So I also saw in the, we saw Messi, right?